Hey, my name is Mario Turk, aka Fasting Dutchman. Welcome back to my channel. Glycine, the smallest building block of life. It's a critical player in our body. And an amino acid that's been around since the beginning of time. I'm very excited to make this video because it answers some of the questions you sent to me. Like, I will be covering the importance and the role of glycine, and how your body synthesizes it, and general recommendations to take glycine, and to use it to its fullest. Now, let's dive deeper in the wonders of glycine. Glycine, it isn't just your regular amino acid, it's the smallest of them. Did you know that glycine makes up one third of collagen? Collagen is protein that gives strength and elasticity to our skin. It's the most abundant amino acid in collagen. Although collagen is a non-essential amino acid, meaning our bodies can make it for themselves and can synthesize it, there's one catch. Our body often can make enough of it. Many people need to take like 10 grams extra a day to reach optimal levels. A shortage of glycine can lead to increased inflammation, higher glucose levels and a poor collagen health. The issue is there is no regulation of glycine synthesis based on need. And we can tap into backup pathways. Since suboptimal levels of glycine didn't affect our ancestors, natural selection has never optimized us for us. So simply put, a modern human just doesn't get enough glycine through their diet. Now, here's the exciting part. Incorporating glycine into our lives isn't as challenging as it may seem. And it can potentially help us bridge the gap created by our modern diets. To reintroduce glycine into our diet, explore ancestral foods like bone broth, organ meats, and collagen rich foods. I understand that organ meat sounds a bit off edge and sometimes it can be a bit disgusting, also. But there's an alternative, something that some of you probably love. And that is chicken skin. This is actually collagen and therefore rich in glycine. Glycine supplements. You can consider supplementing with glycine. This is the easiest and most practical option in my opinion. As glycine is relatively cheap, I personally buy it from Bog.com. You can buy like half a kilogram for 15 euros. This is not much. Probably like practical sex with a scoop. Personally, I just put it in a plastic container and you can just scoop your way. I provide you the link in the description below and I'm not sponsored by them. Now I want to tell you something about the research and the recommendations for glycine. Dr. James D. Nicolantonio's research indicates that we need 12 grams of glycine daily for optimal collagen turnover. James DiNicolantonio is a researcher who also wrote the book Salt Fix. It's a really must read in my opinion. For optimal collagen turnover, consuming less than the amount of 12 grams slows down collagen production. Every meal should basically include 3 to 5 grams of glycine. This is essential for synthesizing compounds like creatine and glutathione. Glycine has a quite diverse half-life, ranging about half an hour to four hours. So say an average two hours before the amount of glycine is reduced to 50% of the intake. So you have to be sure to eat in this time to have optimal glycine utilization in combination with the proteins eaten. Glycine deficiency reduces glutathione synthesis, leading to more oxidative stress. 
and oxidative stress is the driver of aging. You are basically oxidating, just like iron turns brown. Your, the oxygen you breathe is aging your body. So glycine is not just an amino acid, it's an anti-aging strategy. Now here's the fun part. How to take glycine for improving sleep, two to five grams, 30 to 60 minutes before sleeping is optimal. To lower glucose spikes after your meals, eat around five grams, 30 minutes before having a meal. And for optimal collagen production, you can take around five grams, 30 minutes to right before a protein rich meal. And last but not least, to enhance your exercise performance through a better hydration and a lower body core temperature, take three to six grams, 90 minutes prior to exercise. When you maintain about a daily intake of around 12 grams of glycine every day, you can reap a lot of the benefits, like a better sleep, improved insulin sensitivity, balanced glucose levels, enhanced collagen production, reduced inflammation, and even improved hair, skin, and nails. Now, you might wonder about the safety. Well, according to research, it is safe to consume up to 50 grams of glycine every day without side effects. However, as always, consult your healthcare professional before making any critical changes to your regimen. So to sum it up, glycine, the smallest amino acid in the entire universe, plays a massive role in our health. With the right dosage and understanding, we can harness its benefits. Please give a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. And don't forget to subscribe more content like this and I'll see you around thanks for watching